there's been a bit of big news in the No Jumper world, if you give a fuck. Blasey, one of the ex-co-hosts of No Jumper, who had a show on No Jumper called Disconnected with Housephone, Potlord and, and um, Yuri, when they all left because of the passer that Adam22 had with Housephone and the other issues he had with AD and TRL, they set up their own podcast called Reconnected. And they've all kind of silently agreed that, yeah, you know, Adam22 is the op. Now, out of nowhere, out of the blue, Bloody decided to go back to No Jumper for a one-off show, and he sat down with Compa, Compa Raider, and Lush One and Adam Twenty Two on. I've get no, it's mostly Lush One and the Compa show, but Adam Twenty Two joined as guest. It was a big surprise because you know most everybody that left hasn't come back again. So Blasey went back, which was a bit of a big deal considering he's like best friends with Housephone, and Housephone had a very bad end to his No Jumper, you know, tenure. And I don't think him and Adam are on good terms. So it just seemed like a weird thing. But I'm going to play a bit of the clip of Blasey there. Unfortunately, for the whole drama, it was actually a good episode. I watched most of it in the background, don't get me wrong. But it was actually pretty good. The chemistry between all of them was pretty decent. Even though when you consider Blasey probably was a bit maybe nervous of going back there, how it would look and shit. It was actually a decent show when he was back. So it does go to show that, unfortunately, all of them have kind of struggled to replicate the success of being on No Jumper. I think all of those guys, AD, t you know, Duna, all those guys probably would be better off having shows under No Jumper than doing them on their own. But unfortunately, too much stuff has been said in between that time by both camps. It's not ever going to come back. But the fact that Blasey went back was a big deal and everyone's kind of got their knickers in a twist about it. So I'm going to play a bit of the clip for you now to show you how it basically went down. But this is Blasey making his hallowed return back to No Jumbo. Whose idea was this? Was it Josh or Adams? Josh just pulled me into the office one day and just told me like, I yo, like I that. talked to Blasey and that was news to me at that he's moment, right? Decision on man, I'm I mean, he's doing his own thing. He's yeah. out here. He's Vince We're McMahon Josh, and shit. Man. I like that. Vince, what do you got to say? Yo, to be fair, it was, I've been wanting to do this for a minute. Like the whole, the way everything split, I knew, I told Blasey last week, I knew time would go by long enough where we could at some point reach out try to do some shit again when we were in new york uh mm. i was talking to compa and compa mentioned you and was speaking yeah, about how nah, you guys had already boy. had a relationship how you know he pause. really fucked with you no pause <laughs> no yes yes, no, yes, yes sean oh, combs right, 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 right. sean combs in full okay, of oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Drizzy. bbl drizzy <laughs> no and i just i saw an opportunity there and like you know, I felt like enough time had gone by that, hey, why not? Why not reach out to Blasi and see where he was at and where his head was at was up with yeah. all of Bro, look at Josh. Josh is Metro booming. I had no idea this <laughs> was going on. Hey, Josh is... Yeah, Josh is, is, is the... He's doing his thing. Yeah, he, he's the one that's putting shit together. I like that. Um, but you know what? Yeah, I agree. You know, it was it was about time. Well, it was just a matter of time, to be honest with y'all. And, you know, I, uh, uh, I originally... That was a bit weird. The matter of time was a bit weird because... He left originally out of solidarity with House Phone, which is admirable because, you know, that's what friends should do. But House Phone was really done dirty by Adam Twenty Two. They're meant to be long time friends. He's one of their lo he's one of his longest service employees. They both know where the bodies are buried for either party. And you know, Adam Twenty Two decided to get that trans person on the show and essentially expose House Phone for having relations with that person, and then the you know the back and forth that they had when they were on the show together adam 22 tried to make it seem like he paid for his mom's funeral when she passed away which is a real dirty scummy low blow but you'd think if that type of stuff happened you just stand with your boy you'd be it's the kind of situation where i could see a situation like that where house phone could maybe forgive adam before you do you know as a friend that's what you do because it would piss you off more to hear that your friend was disrespected that way right but Blasey doesn't seem to think that way Blasey kind of has a different way he processes it at the time he kind of stood 10 toes down with house phone but then maybe over time he kind of thought hmm did I make the right decision for me maybe that's probably what he's thinking which you know is another thing but I think in general what this whole thing has showed me is like LA guys have a really strange way of how they view friendships it's not like typical people I don't think so. Anywhere else outside of that place, which makes sense because of their, you know, proximity with Hollywood. But they have a very strange way that they view friendships. Some of it is like done in like almost under the threat of like exposure. It's almost like a 
it's almost as if you're being blackmailed by some people they have that kind of vibe some of it is just clout like it's just an odd thing friendship is odd really because this this seems like a non-issue if house one left because adam 22 disrespected him and they fell out you should just stand by his decision when if he decides to go back there you can go back there if you want to but to be the first one to make, go back there and say oh yeah it was inevitable it was always gonna happen it's like huh he left just because I just wanted to stay away from the drama. I feel like I like to boast about this, man. I was the first one to quit. No, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why did you quit? I, think so, I was so. also the only one to probably like formally text you as well to be like, hey, I don't think this is going to happen anymore. Probably so true. full disclosure from where I was sitting. Which again is weird because your friend left. Or no, or maybe House Phone didn't want to come back. No, actually, he wasn't the first to quit. Didn't House Phone quit first? Or did Blasey quit? I'm not really too sure. No, I think Blasey did quit. He's right. Blasey did quit first, and then Housefun went back for that other show, and that's when he didn't want to come back after. Yeah, I get the law, but still, it's like, you saw everything that happened there. You had first-hand account from the guy, and you still went back. Strange. <laughs> I recall when you're all in a group chat, which encompassed the majority of the No Jumper hosts said that. Lush is absolutely buzzing to be back on his show. The amount of times he was doing this, the amount of times he was facing Adam22 during this whole conversation, and like almost like trying to get his approval was kind of disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think Lush might be older than Adam Twenty Two. I think so. I think technically he might be older than him as well. And he's like completely, completely cucking himself to Adam. He really loves that guy, and you can understand why because before Adam Twenty Two and before No Jumper, Lush was kind of swimming in a sea of irrelevancy, even though he had his you know battle rap you know notoriety in the terms of the general public or in terms of internet people like myself, he wasn't that well known. And No Jumper kind of put him back on the map to some extent. Obviously put some money in his pocket and kept him active, kept him out there, you know, whatever. But he's glazing Adam way too much in this entire episode. He's always like turning to him to kind of get his approval and like make sure everything he's saying is cushy. He like, yeah, he's probably the most pathetic one out of all of them, but Oddly enough, I still enjoy him on a show. I think he's really... That's the thing. I'm conflicted as a fan because he's kind of pathetic and a bit embarrassing, but he's still a good addition to the show and definitely provides something. Time. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, Blasi has left the conversation, appeared, mm. has a notification. Mm. Shortly thereafter, you know, got the word from 22ster. Right. That, but it was never... 22ster. Why are you calling him that? Just call him by his name, Adam. 22 stir yuck with the with the pretense of animosity there well was no... that's what i always do just to make sure you know this isn't i mean I, it was a job right i mean this wasn't my first job and this wasn't my first business relationship and it's like the right thing to do whether it's personal life or business life is you just tell someone exactly how you feel mm. you know what i mean you don't let any, any air build up you know what i'm saying you just let people know like hey it's probably gonna work for me rather than me just like laying this shit kind of like get sour Oops. within six weeks and then adam fucking hating me yeah. oh. funny he said that he said he should just tell people how they feel but he didn't tell none of his friends none of his co-hosts out on the show that would have had an issue with him going back that he was going back on there instead of except for house phone i think house phone's the only person he told that he was going back to no jumper he didn't tell anybody else so this guy that is a professing to be a straight shooter say it as, as it is hid hid the fact that he's going back to no jumper for his other two you know, co-hosts on Reconnected. Was he afraid that Potlord might throw a can of beer at his head? Was he afraid that Yuri might flail his arms in the air when he told him? If he told him? Who knows? Okay, but if I recollect correctly, yes. I think that the reason why you actually chose to leave was because of the fact that in the wake of the whole house phone situation, that you felt like I didn't really like handle it well enough or take responsibility enough, which for sure is something that I've kind of like played through in my head over and over, over the years. Mm -hmm. And uh... he's such a bizarre man, isn't it? Like for somebody that's like, how old is he? 40 something years old with two kids or maybe one married. It took you this long to realize that you was a dickhead. <laughs> it wasn't even that deep. It was just like, why did you treat somebody who's meant to be your friend that way? And it took you this, you see, it's actually more worrying that it takes you this long to realize, oh, maybe I didn't handle it the right way. As opposed to doing the thing itself, because we all make mistakes. We can all say and do things in a moment that, you know, can be deemed to be bad, but not realizing what you did in that instance or coming to, you know, waking up and realizing that 
you stepped your way out of line and only realizing maybe years later that you didn't take any accountability you didn't really acknowledge your errors you didn't say sorry the right way it's like only not only recognizing it now many years or have many years after the fact that's the real issue you know i felt like during that time that i was saying what i needed to say and like you know being apologetic enough but for sure i probably could have done a lot better and now Ooh. and now i feel like cheering cheering for a man in his mid 40s for taking accountability and responsibility and having some semblance of self-awareness is kind of embarrassing like these guys are so desperate for the clout so desperate for the you know attention that they get from being on no jumper that they're sucking this guy off on camera because he's come to terms with maybe he was the bad guy he played a role of the bad guy during that breakup he wasn't all his fault because looking back now you can see those guys were probably scheming to get away from no jumper anyway and it was a perfect excuse when the whole house and thing went down perfect excuse and the ad thing perfect excuse to just you know kick him in the back and shit but Adam 22 did a lot of scumbag shit throughout the whole process, if you remember. Things he said, passive aggressive shit, like power plays, all this dumb shit, gossipy stuff, drama stuff, fighting stuff, like, or, you know, fighting, whatever. And now he's only realized now, and they're cheering. That wasn't enough. You can't give me credit keep for going, that, you piece going, of shit. Keep going. You know that's huge. But, but since cook, then, cook. Oh, I, I, I consider myself a bit of a student of apologies at this point because <laughs> the man who couldn't apologize a couple of years later is now a student because he's watched a couple of YouTube videos of people doing the <sighs> before they fucking apologize. Now suddenly he gets everything. Honestly, man, the fucking ego in this guy is insane. Whenever I see people doing it now, I'm like really trying to pay attention to what they're doing because obviously as a sociopath, I have a hard time relating to like what people actually you know, sociopath, you're just a cunt. They do when they feel genuinely about something. Give himself way too much credit. You're just a cunt. I think he likes the sociopath thing because it makes him seem like, oh, soci most sociopaths are entrepreneurs and participants. Like, you're not that deep. You're just a fucking cunt who has never got punched in the face. That's the real issue. And to be fair, it's actually surprising. For all the scummy shit he's done to people or how he's, the, the stuff that he said as well, speaking so spicy, you'd think he'd, he'd get packed in or get packed out, or whatever the fucking term is. You'd think you get weighed in sooner. But it hasn't happened, actually. Quite interesting, though, isn't it? Maybe it's proof that a lot of those guys that have issues with him aren't really about it. Or maybe it's proof that he knows something that we don't. Who knows? Something. So, you know, like when I was watching Vlad, Vlad issuing an apology to Dirk because Vlad accidentally leaked the gender of his child and we're talking about like almost mm. 10 years ago that's doing and, a lot and i listened to vlad issue the apology and he said it repeatedly and he didn't really like he, he broke down the situation but he didn't add like a whole shitload of caveats or whatever he just said i was wrong i wasn't attentive enough to this situation it's actually like weirdly similar to the the house one situation because it was something that like his employees basically were the ones who fucked it up but still it, like it's under him so he has to like yeah. take responsibility it's his umbrella, he's the boss and that clearly did i didn't handle it as well as i should I have i think you know? what really like threw things over that just made it to the point of no return was that one time where you guys had that exchange where you know a drink was thrown and stuff <laughs> like that i think once it got to that you were point, sitting huh? in, in the same seat yeah there's still out of the city, right? Yeah, no, you can still see the fucking. I was wearing like a lime wearing Letterman's shit, jacket. You're wearing, you're wearing Iconic fit. I, got, <laughs> I mean, like in retrospect, you're the same just, shit, Doug. I, no, no. Now I'm like a ninja. Like I got all. This is like workout gear, except that I just took a shower. But, but that yeah. became like a Halloween costume. That's literally. <laughs> but I think I think that that was 9/11 for a lot of people. No. You know what I'm saying it wasn't more or less the news of what happened. It was just that engagement. The car, the you know what I'm saying, the the non-conscious comment you kind of played out on him, where it's like, oh, well, I oh yeah, yeah. I think, and especially in that he, I think that threw him over the roof. But yo, pick up Fyodor. If you are going to put up a flag from Amazon, at least iron it out before putting it in 25 percent of the background. <laughs> yeah, they, they try, big up Fyodor. Yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to appease the the rasas, isn't it? Right? They're trying to appease the rasas. Look at that. Absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Jesus Christ. It's literally just come out of the fucking wrapper. It's literally just come out of the plastic. Fucking hell. But yeah, big up Fyodor.
You know, while I was home, I was actually in uh, Mexico when I saw that shit happen, and like people are just telling me, "You seen this?" And I'm like. <laughs> Yeah, it's it, it's my time to go because you know I, I've been no stranger to like no jumper right. I was like indirectly aware of everything going on when Redacted was was here. You know yes. what I mean? And I or, was or even politics. Just yesterday, I was or not yesterday, but a couple of days ago, I was having a conversation with DJ Fat on camera. So anyway, that's the long and short of it. I just want to know this, just as an outwardly thing to wonder aloud. Obviously, this is really weird, right? Blasi went back. It's kind of odd. House fun, I know it's not his problem with Adam, but House fun had a pretty big falling out with Adam 22. It ended very badly. Um, the drama surrounding AD and Tyr and all those guys was, you know, maybe not, was not pleasant, but wasn't the worst, but also, you know, they left on kind of bad terms. They all kind of went their own ways to go and they all went their separate ways to do their separate things under the premise that, oh, this guy is bad news. Right, he's just a bad dude, which is what it is. It's not a bad thing. It's just you know some people are just cunts. He's just a cunt. Cool, but I want to know what is it about Adam Twenty Two? There's something about this guy. It can't just be clout that people are willing to just like go back again and again and again. The shows aren't even that good. No jumper's not that great of a platform anymore. It's kind of just like turned into like a male version of baddies, right? It's kind of that's what it is. It's like podcast baddies. They engineer conflict between each other they're always arguing there's never really any good opinions the only decent personality on there is flaco but he's also awful he's like a he's like a fucking wish.com academics but like 500 pounds fatter than him awful awful human being to look at you know when he stutters all the time with the sandals the fucking the legs where he looks like he's got a tumor on both of his legs or something how fat his legs are and shit but he's a genuine personality you could see becoming a star in his own right and obviously his, his channel protect Flocko is getting is going really well sharp was had a had a bit of a run but sh even sharp has kind of fallen off a bit and he's kind of for some i don't know what's happened i would love to know what's actually happened with sharp sharp i don't know what's happened he had it almost felt like he had the world in his hands and then he just kind of let it all go or maybe the whole shtick of screaming and shouting at fucking porn stars and night what what you think um porn stars and fucking prostitutes it kind of has its limit right maybe that's a, right, maybe that's the consequence of it who knows um and who else is kind of good on there um all my suspect has has his good moments as well i don't mind him for, for um from time to time uh compa raid is obviously quite entertaining but you know he's like a functional addict so that's probably why he's entertaining i love the guy but you know whatever but apart from that no jumper's not you know but these guys keep going back to adam 22 who's uh big up assad appreciate you notice lush acting super mexican now trying to be rasa he's a 50 years old italian jewish man it's embarrassing it's super embarrassing and i think he's doing it now because big up Assad. i think he's doing it now because he's i think he mentioned on this pod he's with a girl that's from is it honduras or something and i think honduras is central america right if i'm not mistaken honduras is not that far from mexico so maybe that's why he's trying to larp as a mexican uh big up nj ranger for the love of money got to have it i really need it for the love of money how many oh, you... figures have i heard you say Oh, you think so? Is that what you think? You think it's a money thing? Maybe it's a, maybe it's a constant paycheck. Maybe I don't know, but I just think maybe because I don't see this stuff as a job. I just think if this is like an entertainment, if this is like an entertainment job thing, you could find other places, or you could just do it on your own. You don't need to put yourself under the duress of working with adam 22 it's not worth it really especially after all the trouble that's happened you've got a bit of clout anyway you've got a bit of fame and now just go and do your own thing you know what i mean you don't need to be under adam 22 but i guess the cons you know it is consistent pay as jerejo pointed out that probably was why it helps it but it's just odd man it's just a strange thing they all keep going back i don't get it and more so with blasi blasi seems to be quite sensible he seems to be quite level-headed and for him to see House Phone get treated the way he did by Adam 22 and then go back to on the show and then not tell Potlord and Yuri, which is clearly a sign that he probably did know deep down it wasn't the greatest thing to do, was just odd. Strange thing. The, the suggestion is that, allegedly, the suggestion is he wasn't meant to be on there with Adam. The suggestion is that Comparada and... and um, 
what you call it and uh you blaze your friends i think he met comparator a couple of years ago so they're quite cool so i guess he wanted to support compa and maybe lush as opposed to actually hang out with adam adam 22 saw a sign saw a chance you know the, ever the dramatist ever the fucking clout demon he saw a chance to jump on screen with um blasey and have the headline be yeah blasey's back to make it seem as if like you know he always wins in the end but yeah i just don't get the adam 22 thing i don't really get again i followed no jumper from the beginning he was always the worst part of no jumper that's the thing that people don't realize but like there was a short period of time where adam 22 was really good at interviews really good at interviews but in the early period of no jumper then he kind of fell off and he started to become the worst part about no jumper like you didn't want to you didn't want to hear him on the mic you prefer to hear the other host um even when cam girl was out, i prefer to listen to fucking cam girl and shit um he doesn't seem like you know not the greatest personality on the mic seems like a bit of a cunt but people love going back to him and i really can't work out why maybe the money as and just said is that good but I don't think it's worth it to be under the thumb of someone like that with, when it comes to money. Anyway, Blasey went back on the show. He had his time. The, the episode was actually quite decent. I'm not going to lie. So I do recommend you check it out um, on a sick one podcast episode number two with Adam 22. It's actually a decent episode. Um, they actually had good chemistry despite everything that's gone on. When he went back to Reconnected, his other friends weren't happy about it, right? His other friends were not happy about um, why he went back on the jumper. So I'll play that clip for you where he kind of gets interrogated by the reconnected crew as to why he went back on the jumper. Um, especially Yuri and Potlord, who have issues with Adam 22 and Josh. So let's play the clip. You <laughs> reconnected, bro, 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 bro. Okay, I'm reconnected. Okay. Okay, I'm reconnected. Gunshot here. Gunshot here. Episode sirens. Episode 64. This Rattler. is 63, Rattler. my boy. This is like the longest. 63 uh, or 64? 63. 63. I like that. This is like the <laughs> longest series of like a podcast I've done. We're on 63rd you know I mean? right now. Freaky ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 63rd Street, for sure. <laughs> wait, wait. I thought um, I thought Kevon said he's not from 63rd. That's the here nor there. I ain't gonna lie to you, but well, what is here or there? Is yeah, the, he got old boy. Yeah. Blasey twenty two <laughs> in the building. No, that's not the case. I love that Blasey twenty two. Well done, Pot Lord. <laughs> Good name, Blasey twenty two. That's hilarious. <laughs> Blasi 22 is crazy. Yeah. Man. What's up, man? How y'all feeling, man? I'm feeling really, really I'm good. I'm shaking bro. right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, <laughs> people were. Hey, yo, Yuri needs a haircut and a beard shave. He's looking like a fucking meth head. Why go on for, for Yuri? Why does he look like that? They're like DMing me, like, so upset. Nigga, they were DMing me so upset. <laughs> God. I, I don't really. Again, I'm pausing it a million times, but I hate when people like this get surprised when the fans get overly invested in their shit they want the fans to back them up in their drama they kind of big up uh who's this big up adzi i go have you seen any adam 22 corn unfortunately yes one only when you first got into it i saw the one with um trisha paytas saw it one time specific specifically seeing trisha paytas naked Seeing him naked was enough for me, and it was a, it was one of those, oh it was a it was a pizza scene as well. I think he was a pizza delivery man. And it's like here's your pizza, and then oh there's my dick, like awful, 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 awful. Seemed like just like what? I watched it once as I came, never again. And the funny thing about it is, um, he wasn't even like I don't know how to describe it like. It's not like he has a different personality on there. You know what I mean? The same way he acts on pods is the same way he's in porn. Oh, oh, oh. Like, do you know what I mean? It's not even like he hams it up a bit. Like, there's nothing. It's just, a, it's the same personality. The same guy you see on No Jumper is the same way he acts in his corn. The same way. <laughs> it's kind of wild. So you're not really missing anything. And again, like, I don't want to see him do anything out even, I don't, I don't want to see him pod I don't want to see him deaf. I don't want to def I def don't want to see him coom. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, like. Pfft, pfft. To be fair, I think, again, I'm I'm in the minority here because I'm maybe not a lad. And maybe I'm a little bit too P-U-S-S-Y for that shit. But I honestly think the corn side of Adam 22 is what ruined No Jumper. 
I guess because he couldn't make enough money or because he was struggling to market it without no jumper. But I would have preferred it if he kept both of those things separate. He kept plug talk, his corn career and no jumper completely separate. The moment he kept mixing it is honestly, there was so many times I've listened to like the no jumper show and you'd be talking about, oh yeah, we got this girl. It's like, oh, you have to just mute it or like fast forward. Like, I don't care how you bust a nut. Like, I really don't. Like, leave us alone. So fucking, you know, like taking us hostage with your fucking, what makes your dick hard. Like, we don't care. It's on. It honestly ruined the experience. I swear to God, it ruined No Jumper because you just keep mentioning it all the time. Oh yeah, this week, like no one's gonna read. Like, I I don't even know what Plug Talk looks like. I don't know if it's a website. I don't know if it's an OnlyFans extension. I've never gone on the site. I never will. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Like it honestly is so annoying. Really is annoying. <sighs> like, it, it, but you know, it's it's the it's it's the it's its thing. He's, he's almost into it like a guy that's into golf and stuff or a guy that watches football because he's the type of person that doesn't play sports doesn't watch sports you know he barely listens to fucking hip-hop so he needs a hobby as a dude to do so i guess his hobby is like fucking with other girls with his wife and stuff and telling you about it even when you don't want to know he kind of reminds me of like all the time whenever i see adam and he's talking about sex and stuff you know what adam reminds me of we all had friends like this adam reminds me of that guy that we all know who talks in explicit detail to you about what they get up to in the bedroom with their wife or their girlfriend. It's like, it's kind of okay if you talk about it, if it's some like random whore that you slept with or some girl that you met in a bar that we all saw, fair enough. But we all know your girl. We all know your wife. Like we're all friends. Like, you know what I mean, we, we call her sis. Like, do you know what I mean? That's, she's one of the homies now because that's your girl. We don't want to know that you know you made a choke or something like it's not what what is this like you just overshare like it's almost like oversharing you know it's really strange it really is but you know he's clearly in that lifestyle so i guess it is what it is but i've always hated it always fucking hated that side of no jumping i feel like that's what ruined my no jumper listening experience hearing this guy talk about what makes him fucking horny it's like bruh enough not every day is horny time same here. <laughs> no, nah, so so check it out. You know, I think. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm just gonna like scramble around the story, but like, you don't gotta talk- scramble. No, no, you know, you starting from the top, from the beginning to yeah, the end. How did how did, okay, you, how did we sure. get there? All right, check how it did out. we get there? So- <laughs> Potlord is upset. Potlord's trying to put. Pre- I love Potlord because he was barking and talking. I won't say aggressively, but he seemed very riled up on his stream with T Rail, and it seemed like he was gonna put the pressure on him in real life. But then you know, it's different when you get someone's face. And he's like, he's not really having the same energy that he had on stream with T-Rail, to be fair. Josh hits me up like a month ago. And he's a like, month ago. Everything's going good. We're, we're just having like, just co- like just conversation. And uh, I tell him like, yeah, push up. Congrats on progress from the office. Okay. So he pushes up. He does so. And uh, um, he's like, yo, everything's going good. By the way, Corporator, he had nothing but good things to say about. By the way, is this normal? Could you guys tell me what this is about? Is that because you want to save juice? Is that like American thing? As you, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but Yuri down here has, I guess, a soft drink in this cup and then probably some liquor in this cup. Is it normal in America to be like drinking your liquor like this? Why don't you just pour the liquor into that cup? Why are you sipping a bit of liquor and sip a bit of the juice? Why would you do that? Is that to keep the juice separate? Like, it's a strange thing. It's like, why don't you just pour the liquor in the juice? Why would you drink it separately? Or just pour a bit of the, or just or just drink the liquor and use the juice as a chaser at the end. Why is he sipping like that? Like, like, it seems odd. No, children do that because he's gay. <laughs> because it would ruin the juice, brother. Hmm. I don't know. For taste, I hate the taste. Oh, so you prefer you don't like the taste of liquor in your juice? but you want a bit of the liquor. So you keep the juice separate. Okay. I, I don't know, man. It just seems a bit, seems a bit like, seems a bit gay. Yes. About you has a new show coming out. We want you to be a part of it. And I was like, 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 want you to be like, yeah, a, he wanted me to be a full blown host, which okay. is like, that's not what I'm trying to do, you know what I'm saying? But okay. do you feel like that was we'll, your trial we'll and error? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, 
he told me that, and I was like, okay, awesome, I, okay, for sure. And back in my head, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this unless I call house phone. So yeah. I was gonna see this fool like in 30 minutes. I think he was around. I love, I love, I love, I love how he's standing on business though, Blas. He's like, yeah, I'll talk to house phone. You other motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck about. But still, having to, I think I'd be offended. I wouldn't be offended, but I still feel a way if you had to ask me that. You shouldn't ask me that. You know what I want. Don't put me in a position because no one, no one's gonna ever say to their friend don't go make some money or don't go put your face out there which might help your business which might help you get some money no one's going to deny somebody that opportunity so having to ask someone like that, it's almost like you're putting them in a corner and all, all they can say is yes because also maybe they also don't want to appear like they're salty and they're holding a grudge because some people are like that i myself included i'll probably never say I, I would probably never let my friends know that i don't like somebody that they like just out of pride you know, I'm not so sure if you guys are like that, but I would never like let someone else know. I would just keep it up to myself, right? And I'll just fester and brew. Do you know what I mean? I don't like the person, but I would never like say, hey, stop talking to that person because that person did, did so and so to me. Do you know what I mean? I'll just keep my own personal grievances against them to myself. But these guys were all together. They saw what Adam 22 did, they heard what he did. Um, they were there some of the times with the stuff that he was doing and shit. And it's like, why are you asking me to go back if you know you're going to go back anyway? On the way to my office. Mm -hmm. Me? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, on like Tuesday or some mm, shit. Like last Tuesday. So he pushed up. <laughs> big up young old vibes. Um, big up young old vibes. I, I always say it. That's why I don't have friends. I told him from the side, like, yo, Josh just pulled up. He came and grabbed some product, but he like, asked me. Like we just missed each other. Literally, bro, that would have been some shit. Cause I, you know, I, <laughs> I haven't seen none of these no jumper fools since I left. Like, yeah. I don't go outside. Like I'm not gonna see my Rolling Loud. None of that. Yeah. So this was the first time I seen I saw a lot. I seen a lot of them at Rolling Loud. But yeah. That was it. Um. So I talked to House. So I'm like, Yo, bro, this is what's going on. Originally, just gonna be uh lush. Also, this wiping that that House phone's doing is this like Coke sweats, or is he just sweaty because he's fat? Or is it just really warm in there? My nigga's like wiping his entire face with that fucking cloth. Like, why go on? Did he have a bump before the show or something? Or is he just sweaty? And comparator. Um, and I told him, like, yo, this is what's going to happen. And it's like, you know, I want to put all our business out there. But it was like, yo, oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and that's kind of like my Shattering whole thing is cold. once I heard that, then it's like, you know, you're you directly brought me into podcasting. You're yeah. directly the reason I left from that situation. So it's like, if I'm gonna do something with it, and there's anyone's opinion I really give a fuck about, it's gonna be yours. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. So yeah. that's where that's where pretty that's much. That's fair. I you look at look at look at Pot Lord. Pot Lord is talking in some very polite tones or pol polite volume compared to his own pod with T Rail on his own live stream on Kick. Hilarious. That's fair. It's like, come on, Pot Lord, man. Get too spicy, brother. Come on, Pot Lord. Come on. You and I kind of communicate with yeah. you. Yeah. No, no. You definitely told me, like, from, I mean, literally from, I guess, Joss had just asked you. Yeah. And then you asked me. And, like, but I'm not going to lie. Like, at first, I, like, like, not at first, but I kind of was like, uh, like, when you first told me. But at the end of the day, I'm going to never not tell you to do something, bro. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, bro, See? I'm going to even keep it a beam, bro. You remember you were supposed to do some like graphic design work for one for the ops a yeah. long time ago. Yeah, you yeah. asked me about that too, and what did I say? I immediately was like, "Bro, I'm never gonna stop you." Oh my god, I'm, I'm thinking about the other one. There's ones that I already <laughs> say no immediately. I'm like, "Nah, I'm good." No, nah, but nah, no, so there you... was one where you were in, you were in said. So hold on, Blasi's okay with not doing work with certain people because Blasi is a graphic designer. He designs t-shirts and other bits and bobs of people out there in terms in the record industry so blood is okay turning down opportunities for legit money from clients because of his loyalty to house phone but then he's okay to go sit back with adam 22 huh how does that make any sense beef with somebody five years ago and they hit me up for a graphic and i'm like hey so and so hit me up it's a crazy opportunity yeah and cool with you but but you already know and i forgot about that situation but look i immediately was like bro i'm gonna never stop you from getting your bag i'm gonna mm. never get in your way of like at the that's what i mean about if that's why i say if somebody asked me about some if somebody asked me hey should i be cool with this person who they know i'm not cool with 
I already would feel a way because you're asking me and you know that I'm not going to tell you not to be cool with them because that sounds petty. You know, I would have an issue with that. But again, maybe I'm different and maybe I don't know more of the details. End of the day, bro, you a grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. And like we, we could still do business and do shit, you know, separately mm -hmm. from each other. It don't have to be so intertwined. It don't have to be yeah. like, like, I mean, I appreciate you even involving me or even asking mm -hmm. my opinion. But at the end of the day, bro, you don't owe me no fucking explanation for nothing. If you want to go do that, bro, like, that's cool, bro. I'm still going to give you, you know what I'm saying? Just because, like, bro, like I said, like, you you, you found me in the fucking, you know that's what I'm okay. saying? You like, don't got to do it. I say do. a story every, I, it should be a fucking button at this point on Southboard. <laughs> Kicking cans. The, gla Kicking the glaze cans. button, you know what I mean? <laughs> nah, that's yeah. a fact. I mean, like, at the end of the day, on some, just on some homie shit, I appreciate you even extending the, like, hey, like, this is was brought up to me like mm. should i do it or should i not do yeah. it and like i'm gonna be completely honest though bro like i i did i personally didn't think it was gonna be a good idea because i knew that kind of people would react the way mm -hmm. that they're reacting it wasn't a good idea because adam 22 used blasey to send a message that's why it wasn't a good idea he got used he was meant to go in there originally with comparator and lush adam 22 got wind of he was going back on the show he he jumps in on the live stream. They have this heart to heart kinda. Adam twenty two professes to understand why he went wrong, blah blah blah, and then shits on T Rail and a few other people on the show. You know, he basically got used again, and it's like, how does Adam twenty two seem to be able to manipulate these people so easily with not much effort? Like, aren't they all grown? Don't they have experience of what he's done to them in the past? Why do they constantly let this guy like play with them this way? It's just odd. He clearly can't fight anyway as well. He's just big for nothing. Like he's just tall. He's got tattoos, but he's not menacing or anything. He's not particularly that intelligent, but he seems to have them all wrapped around his fingers in a weird way. You know, like he can kind of like get them to like crash out and do whatever. It's a strange situation. And again, like I said, if that was, if I was house phone, I'd want him, I'd want him dead. Do you know what I mean? If if that if that was me and he did that to me, exposed me, you know, for hooking up with some trans person, tried to take it, tried to make it seem like he paid for my mum's funeral after she battled a really horrible fucking terminal illness, which you had to kind of deal with on camera and have the fans mock you because you weren't turning up for the show, but yet you're looking after your mum and you're going for your own thing, and to have him like basically try and insinuate that you were down bad and needed his financial help to kind of put your, you know, to, 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 to basically, you know, pay for the funeral for your mum. You'd want that guy dead. You'd never want to, you, you know, just that guy is up for life. Like everybody in their blood, everybody. But you know, again, LA, like I said, LA is a strange place based on just looking at comedians and looking at these guys, the way that they interact, their interpersonal relationships are just so strange over there. Everything's kind of like, I won't say even the rules, but like what you'd expect, you know, from adult conversation, adult relationship, friendships, it's just, it was all out the window over there. It's all kind of like a clout thing, a fame thing, a money thing, attention. It's just strange. Like where else would this be okay? Where else would it be okay? Like even Potlord and Yuri, didn't Potlord say he was, he was smoking on Yuri's dead sister? And now they're sitting like, how does that happen? Like every time I see you, it's on site. You're saying you're smoking on my dead sister? Every time I see you, it's on site. Every time. There is not a time when it's never going to be on site. Unless my sister comes back from the dead and says, hey, chill. Like, what? Like, not even from my end, but I didn't want to I didn't want to say that and, like, make it come off like I'm just yeah. like, nah, like, don't do it because of me. Yeah. I just genuinely... Yeah, exactly, Ricky Pitcher. So much man drama is crazy. And exactly seven... Adam's a terrible friend. That's the thing. Adam is a terrible friend. So why are these guys... That's the perfect term there. Adam is a terrible friend. Why did it... That's the thing I don't have... Even though I'm saying what I'm saying about Adam, I don't have an issue with him. Like, I don't mind people who are pieces of shit when they are aware they're pieces of shit. I just have an issue with people who constantly put themselves in the crosshairs of pieces of shit. The pieces of shit do pieces of shit things to them. Then they get surprised. It's like, bruh. He's been quite consistent with his piece of shittedness along the way. 
why would you get back in his crosshairs? You know what he's like. You know what he's going to do. You know eventually he's going to fucking kick you in the back, stab you in the back or whatever. And they keep going back. It's like, why? Like, what is it about that guy? And again, like I said, he's not that charismatic. He's not that interesting. He's not that smart. He's not that funny. But they seem to be... And it's, it's not like he's running... It's not like he's, run com, he's running complex. The money's good, but it's not, you know... We thought that it might go not in your favor of like because uh -huh. I just know how people and are so invested into this yeah. shit. And on top of that, I hate to cut you also, off. Like, I, I was... also hate that by the way. They make it parasocial by oversharing everything and putting everything in front of a camera. Then when their fans get super invested in, they're like, Oh my god, people are so invested. It's like if you don't want people to be invested, don't air out your dirty laundry on air. It's pretty simple. Don't talk about your personal issues on camera. It's pretty simple. Just deal with the news that you see online, offer your opinion on certain topics and keep it moving. But they make it personal and then they say, oh, everyone's being proud of socialists. Like, um, maybe, you're, maybe you want people to reach out to you that you don't know to keep, make you feel be better about yourself. Maybe you're the one that's got the prior social relationship, not the viewers. That was my biggest problem, Ryan. I made it clear to Josh. I texted him like four or five times during like the last like week. I'm like, yo, I'm not there to do any bullshit. I'm not, I'm not there to, uh, to even like conversate or like hate on, and I call it out like fig mute. I'm not trying to like talk shit about them. Like, yeah, whatever y'all do, everyone gotta be good or I'm just going to dip. Yeah. The and only, he was like, okay, cool. It's good. The only thing, <clears throat> the only thing with shit like and that, that was is, my biggest fear for sure. It's like, yeah. cause you know, at the end of the day, it's like, I true, I've been doing, you know, not only just podcasting, but just like, I was telling my homie about this, like just. I, I now understand people mean by like LA, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. I'm I'm just so numb to it where I just assume people don't have my best interests and like mm. I gotta go into it with like uh like expect the worst, hope for the best. You know what Type I mean? Like, shit. like what's the worst way this could possibly go? Yeah. Q eat this. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um but I think like anyone who was like truly like butthurt and upset, it's like, you know, if if our relationship didn't have a strong enough foundation, then it's like you weren't someone there that like truly, you know what I'm saying? Like loved all this shit. It's like, yeah, I've still remained the same person. You know what I mean? It's not a matter of just like me switching up everything I said on that show. It's like, I, I, I reacted to Adam. I, they was like, I don't, I don't have anything against Yuri and Pollard. I'm like, yes, you fucking yeah, do. You do right? I was like, yes, about? you clearly do. What are you talking about? And yeah, it's like, right. you know, I wasn't, I even told him it's like me personally. I don't like how he, he's always on. To be fair, the Yuri and Pollard thing, they also need to take responsibility. Potlord said a lot of mad shit about Adam, you know, maybe justifiably so, but they've all been slinging mud at each other. Like, now's not the time to make it seem like Adam is bad man only. He's not the big bad wolf only in this situation. They've all got in the fucking mud with him and they've all said some very unforgivable things, things that you would imagine would result to some level of physical violence if they ever met each other in real life. So let's not make it out that one person's doing the bad thing here. Like Duno's ass. Mm. And I don't do no give a fuck. He don't even fight his battles. But like I called him out on that. Like, bro, why do no? Yeah, you see, know what I mean? But look, but look, the thing is with with like with the perception of certain shit, it's it's people that watch that that didn't even get to any of that, that didn't yeah. even see yeah. any of that. They just see they you. See a thumbnail. They see a thumbnail. And, like, it's full work first, of all, first of all, that was a terrible way. Like they like did like the outline of you. Percent view, bro. Visible. <laughs> <The outline laughs> of I told like, you, who's that Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. yeah. they no, got but, my ears and was, shit. It wasn't even blurred. Like you could see that it was you. you got a mustache in this. Yeah, all, all the all the comments that Josh. I'm like, bro, come on. He's like, I don't know. Uh, they definitely <laughs> did that on purpose, but no, like. I think with like, I think that sometimes people just jump to conclusions yeah. and like they see, like they just uh, imagine you are, you are a casual viewer yeah. and you haven't even, say you haven't even tuned into no jumper like that. And like, or you, biggest bros or you know biggest bros. You don't even know what the fuck going on. <laughs> and then they just open they it up. That. They open it up one day and they just see you back on the couch. They're yeah. automatically just like, Oh, by the he way, switched up. I don't think I've ever seen Yuri this quiet. Yuri's definitely pissed. Yuri's definitely fucking pissed. These MFs got Livingston syndrome, named after renowned prize academics. Its symptoms include discovering crap in your 30s you should know by 21. <laughs> See also, Schultz's amnesia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I like that. That's a very good theory, NJ Ranger. I love that. Livingston syndrome, named after the <laughs> Discovery crap in your face you should yeah, that's fucking perfect. That is so good. Livingston syndrome. That is fucking perfect, you know. 
I think somebody said it before about the man drama, right? Like, it's just... This stuff should be easy, innit? You get a chance to, like, hang out with your friends. You get a chance to, like, talk shit on the mic. Um, you know, entertain whatever fans that you have. Make each other laugh. Because that's quite fun as well when you're in a group like this, right? To make each other laugh. Say silly shit. Make some cash on the way. Get your followers up. You know, standard shit. And keep it moving. It should be a pretty cushy, nice situation. But they all overcomplicate it with all of this drama. Like, it's proper real house husbands of LA shit, isn't it? Like, they love this shit. It's like, what is all this stuff? Like, we know so much deep. We know too much about these guys who are pretty insignificant in the main scheme, in the grand scheme of things, about their personal lives. They share way too much. Then when the fans, you know, fling it back at them, they get annoyed. It's like, bro, you shared this. Like, no one else would know this unless you didn't post this on your socials or talk about it on your pod. And then you get angry when the fans bring it up. It's like, well, don't mention it, isn't it? But they can't help it because, you know, they love to spill. Um, it's just a strange thing. But again, I think I don't, I'm not really the, the great target audience because, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just play the clip. He's working back with them. They're he's not. Yeah, he's, he's not hired there. He's not fucking with with biggest bros no more. I don't yeah. uh, like. It just becomes this whole narrative thing. And to be honest, like I could have, I could have told you that from a mile well, away. I knew that was gonna happen. But it's like as long as you're able to prove everybody wrong, then that's the real value. You no, that's a mean? fact. And that what do you prove everybody wrong with though? What did you, what did you do that proved people wrong? Don't get me wrong. The show was good, but how did you prove people wrong? that's what i'm all about it's like even people that reached out like i want to shout out to t rail and ad because mm -hmm. like they're the, they're really the only ones like beyond like you and me and parlor yeah. had a conversation uh, yeah. last night but it's mm -hmm. like them two were the only ones who like were indirectly i guess you say like affected or they because mm -hmm. ad told me he got hella phone calls and shit yeah, like wait that. but hold on let me speak for a second because like all right so we found out that you was on live. that shit live. We was on stream. I was, nigga, T-Rail happened to be, it was me, T-Rail, and Six last night on stream, right? We just, T-Rail was coming over my house anyway. Look at how Potlo's, look, look at how Blasi's looking at him. Look at how, <laughs> staring him down. He's like, yeah, what are you going to say? I went on no jumper and what, fuckface? Blasi's staring him down, isn't it? Look at Blasi staring him down. <laughs> Yeah, I was with your op. What? What are you gonna do? You gonna get your blammy out, huh? What are you gonna do? So it was like we just happened to be live and niggas is spamming this shit in the chat like Blazzy's on no jumper. Yeah. And I'm like, No, your guys' nah, reaction was fucking hilarious. Uh, bro, because I didn't believe it at first. I'm like, nah, there's no way. But then the mod starts saying it. I'm like, all right, let's go check. So we go look and I'm like, bro, what? It just really caught me off guard because I'm like, yeah. nigga, like Cause what? the truth is I didn't tell y'all. Yeah, you yeah, you didn't. I, mean? I didn't know. Just because uh, then, then he he opened up the yeah, group break chat. Yeah, down, break it he down. He opened up the group chat on, <laughs> on live to see if uh, if you had said something in the group. Because I was like, hold on, did I miss some shit? Yuri's because you pissed. you y'all both y'all never read it actually. I, actually, it's, it's just not even a matter month, of the past like, month and then after the month, like I've just been. Nah, that's a fact. No, nah, I'm, okay. I'm not gonna blame it on nah, like they don't view it. It's just nah, like but I only want to hear house. All right, but to break it down, okay, look. As a as a as like you feel me as a homie, I was like really thrown off guard because you know this. That nigga's somebody that talked about like my family and like you feel me. This you nigga, you yeah, talked about like his that. family. Yeah, but you know, that's neither. I don't like that, but you still went. I don't like that, but you still went, Blasi. Look at him. <laughs> Look at how he's looking as well, <laughs> Blasi. Blasi went on that show and said, "And what? Suck my dick." <laughs> Yeah, here nor there, because that has nothing to do with you. Well, on top of that, the original plan, and it's like I'm glad this is all documented through text, but it's like it was ideally just me, Comparator, and Lush. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I said on stream. Into the mix, kind of like well into the week. You feel me? Like a cup, maybe like a like four or five days, like as the week got started. He was like, "Yo, by the way." It was originally gonna be a one on one, and then we were gonna do the show, but like yeah. it really didn't feel like we needed to do a one on one. You know, nah, what I mean? felt it's that like, anything that we needed to say was kind of said within 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, and like the the whole the whole episode wasn't dedicated to that. Yeah, and we were like, talking yeah. bullshit. You know, what I mean? yeah, yeah, no, it was. It. I seen the whole episode. It was like you feel me. I didn't because like you got to think about. I was on stream, so people in the chat like, bro, yeah. they're dissing you and it's Yuri. a crazy All ass off thing though. Great. That's what everybody nuts, everyone bro, could like, agree on. Nuts. Yeah, but but like honestly though, like, and I be I be telling you this, 
like just because like you know like you've been doing this like for a while now but like obviously like you're still kind of newer to it and I just be trying to tell you though, Togo. I'm like, nigga, you can't let these niggas just troll you. I, I mean, both of y'all. I didn't. Let, but no, no. Let me get to what I'm saying. I never I, let nobody troll me. I was I, like, I watched. I watched you be like, bro, you watched the clip. No I way. Said, no like, way. You know he oh, us. No. Okay. But if you watch the clip, I, I always I said on the clip, I said, yo. To be fair, Blasi never. He's preached from day one. He didn't. He never left no jumper with bad blood. No, that's not I, what I was talking about. I'm saying yeah. you can't let the I chat. Let the genuine, the what are you, you talking about? I'm saying. I'm saying you can't let the chat troll you into thinking that he was on there dissing y'all. I never, no, I but I, I mean, never obviously, I never took no it. offense. Yeah, to Yeah, Yuri's never been on no like timing. Neither was Pot Lord. He reacted to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, but no. there's no foul in that. No, it's yeah. like he has reason to. He's on stream. You're, you're surprised. <laughs> I you was found like, out yeah. like every. Anyway, you get the gist of what happened there. I'm not gonna fucking go over it a million times. 